What's going on guys? In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a 5 volt relay with a Raspberry Pi. So there's a few things that you're going to need to implement this on your own and those things include um, three female to female jumper cables, a 5 volt uh, relay, a Raspberry Pi of any flavor, you're going to need an external power adapter. In this case I'm using a 12 volt power supply. I also have a uh, DC adapter cable and for the sake of demonstration purposes I'm using a DC motor so your use case may differ you may have like an LED lamp uh, or an LED strip that you want to power or control with a relay but the principle is the same regardless so with all that said and done let's go ahead and get started putting all this stuff together so the first thing you want to do is check your 5 volt uh, relay. If you look on the top, it usually has the specifications of, uh, you know, the power um, input that it can take. So, 12 volts is well within the uh, reasonable means for this 5 volt relay. Um, as you can see, there's three outputs on the bottom: no, com, and C. So, um, we are going to be wiring up the NO and the COM to the positive side of the power supply and then the negative will just connect directly so essentially this acts as a switch um, and then the GPIO pins will be connected to the PI so the PI will send a command to the relay to close the connection and then that's when you have you know the output you're looking for so your light turning on or your motor spinning or what have you so let's go ahead and start wiring that up let's get the GPIOs all sorted out so the first thing we need to do is hook it up to the 5 volt pin on the Pi so connect to VCC in this case I'm using the red jumper cable um, so then there's ground of a corresponding black female jumper cable here too and then finally our input which is signified by IN in this case and that's with the green cable so you know right off the top I know the top left two pins are 5 volts so just plug that into the leftmost pin there um, we need a ground obviously so that's the third pin on the top row and in this case I'm just going to select GPIO number four so that's the fourth pin on the bottom. Two, three, four. Looks like I've already made a mistake there. The black GPIO goes in the third. And we're good to go. So that's pretty much the connections you need for the Pi. Now let's get on to the uh, the power supply of things side of things um, let's go ahead and essentially take both of these um, DC cables and look for the negative side and we're just gonna twist them together this is just for demonstration purposes for a more permanent solution you should probably solder these things uh, but I just want to get these working real quick so that's done there. I'm gonna just add some electrical tape to it real quick to you know insulate it. It's always good practice. All right, so that's done there. Um, so now you can see kind of how the circuit works. You know, when we pass power in, this acts as the switching side of things the two positive leads hook up to the relay. So you're also gonna need a small electronic screwdriver because they have these little screw pin out things right here. So I'm just gonna loosen them up real quick. Um, I'm gonna be plugging in the uh, this here with the middle. So I'm plugging this into the common port, which is the middle pin or input. 
input in this case, or actually I think it'd be, I guess it's input and output. Um, and then finally, we're connecting the positive side of the DC motor to the NO input. And then just gonna screw that down. Okay, and that's pretty much that's pretty much the setup. Um, now you can see that this female DC jack is exposed, and we just plug in the power adapter here. So this goes in the wall, and then we just need to power on the Pi, and we, we should be good to go. So with all that said and done, I'm gonna plug those two things into the into my wall, and then head over to the computer to get working on the Python Python script to control this setup. So let's head over to the computer right now. And I created this uh, Python script to run the motor for a second and turn it off. I'll sort of walk you through what it does. Uh, something I want to note though, I ran into an issue with the relay module I was using, so I had to switch it out. And I was running through some troubleshooting steps and I changed the uh, GPI port here. So I believe in the setup, it was set up to port 4. This is currently set to 21. So definitely note that change and make the corresponding changes in your script so this is where we define the the uh, sort of output f to the relay uh, here we're setting up the GPIO so we're using the BCM numbering system and we're setting it as an output and then these two functions here when called they'll essentially turn the motor on and off so we're going to pass in 21 and set the output to high. So that means, uh, you know, binary, it'll set it to 1 or high, true, whatever, and the motor will run. We call this script, we, or this function, sorry, uh, we pass in 21 as well, but this time we set the value to low, 0, or false. So all um, synonyms are the same. So here's our sort of main I have it so it'll turn the motor on, wait one second, turn the motor off, wait one second, and then just reset the GPIO setup. So it'll lose this numbering scheme that we've essentially set. And I've embedded this in this try catch block so that if you hit control C, it'll also just reset here. Uh, this pass is not actually necessary now that I look at it and yeah that's pretty much it that's all the script really does so let's go ahead and SSH into the Pi and run the script so I've already loaded it in the Pi uh, as you can see here so all we're going to do is type python relay.py and it should run and that's it guys that's um, pretty much how you what you need to do to get going with the 5 volt relay. One thing I do want to note is I, when I said that I had issues with this 5 volt relay, initially there was a problem in that the, the logic that I had there was correct, but it would turn on, but it would not shut off. So I was hunting through some forums and apparently uh, sometimes depending on the quality of your 5 volt relay uh, it's it won't recognize the 3.3 volt output from the Pi so you may have it hang so uh, I, I ran through a number of troubleshooting steps I switched out the relay sort of had the same issue but then I switched out my um, jumper cables and that seemed to fix it so definitely if you run into some sort of inconsistent behavior you know, run through the troubleshooting steps, change out your jumper cables, try a different uh, relay module, and hopefully that, that will set things straight. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. You know, I always appreciate uh, like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment below if you have problems or anything like that. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for upcoming content. Peace.